good luck to you. Late this morning, Ron Holmes drove off in his new van from a New Jersey dealership. After driving 250 miles yesterday from his home in Maryland, he was afraid he had missed out on trading in his clunker, a 1995 Chevy, but it all worked out. So how much of a discount are you going to get? Uh, Seven thousand dollars altogether once the, you know, from the, from the sticker price. And that includes thirty-five hundred dollars from the car allowance rebate system known as cash for clunkers. Its success was a major surprise. And we sold nine cars since the program started. That's within a week. The billion dollar program launched nine days ago was supposed to last until November. Then on Thursday, a scare reports the money had run out in just one week, making dealers like Camille Ashkar very nervous. I'm not going to uh, sell the car based on a crash for clunkers unless I know I was guaranteed the money. There's no way that the dealership can have 3500 to 4500 loss on a sale. The White House guarantees the program at least through the weekend, so Oshkar is continuing to provide the clunker discount. This morning, Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood sought to reassure dealers and prospective car buyers that the plan would continue. No one should worry. Uh, go out and buy a car. Analysts believe the Senate will have to follow the House's lead and guarantee the additional $2 billion to fund the program. The valid deals that are on the table right now, I think the government will fund, because otherwise they're leaving the dealership holding the bag. While dealers like the program, they don't like the 136-page rule book and a constantly crashing website that dealers must use to register clunkers and get the government reimbursement. But there are no complaints about the program's ability to bring in more potential buyers. If there was no cash for clunkers program, would you be doing this trade-in? No, not today. And no complaints from junkyard owners who get the old cars from dealers after the engines have been disabled. It's double the business for getting a lot more cars in. It's good for my business. Now, if the first billion dollars has been spent in less than a week or two weeks, that could mean that the additional two billion could be gone long before the program is expected to expire in November. Jeff? All right, Randall Pinkston in New Jersey tonight. Randall, thank you.